Good evening, I'm Scott Thompson. Here are your top stories from Two Works for You. The Environmental Protection Agency is devoting more than $16 million a year towards the cleanup of Tar Creek. The creek near Pitcher is polluted from decades of toxic mining waste. The EPA also announced that cleanup efforts will continue for the next five years up in Ottawa County. The agency is inviting public comment on the plan for the next 30 days at its website. A bill that would create a new state watchdog agency to oversee spending and audit other agencies has cleared the Oklahoma Senate under the bill, the Legislative Office of Fiscal Transparency, it's called, could issue subpoenas to agencies compelling them to produce documents or provide witness testimony. That new agency would cost more than $800,000 each year to operate. Jury selections underway in the trial of the man best known as Joe Exotic, former exotic animal zookeeper Joseph Maldonado Passage, is accused in a murder-for-hire plot involving a Florida woman. Maldonado Passage is accused of paying someone $3,000 to travel from Oklahoma to Florida to murder the woman, and there were reportedly promises to pay more after the woman was dead. It was never carried out. It's time to plan those summer vacations, and now there's a new nonstop option from Tulsa. In three weeks, American Airlines will resume its daily flight from Los Angeles to Tulsa. The airline canceled that route in 2013, but it returns April the 2nd. Good chance for rain storms for our Wednesday morning. By afternoon, we're going to be at 70 degrees, a warm day, breezy day with southwest winds gusting at times to 40 to 50 miles per hour. So really warm Wednesday afternoon if we get rid of the rain. 50s and cooler for Thursday. In the 50s and 60s for the weekend, spring break, not too bad. 50s and 60s for afternoon highs. Thanks for catching up with Two Works For You. Look for our next update at 915.